Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to install VirtualBox on your laptop and then we'll install CentOS 7 operating system on that VirtualBox. Let's get started. To download VirtualBox, open virtualbox.org portal in your favorite browser and then click on downloads and then download VirtualBox for your Windows platform. I have already downloaded VirtualBox so I am gonna skip that part. Same way if you want to install CentOS 7 operating system on this VirtualBox. Here you can see multiple CentOS 7 ISO images are available. I will go ahead and download the DVD version. The size would be around 4.4 GB. You can go ahead and download the ISO image file. We have downloaded VirtualBox and CentOS 7 image in download folder. Now I am gonna go ahead and install VirtualBox on this laptop. To install VirtualBox you can double click on this installer file. Here click on next. I will leave it as default next next yes and click on install the installation might take one or two minutes depending on your system performance finish once virtualbox installation is done you can see one virtualbox icon on your desktop Double click on the icon to launch VirtualBox. Now click on New to install a new operating system on it. I will install CentOS 7 on this VirtualBox. I will provide one machine name. My na machine name will be Linux01. Machine folder will be default. Here I am going to install CentOS 7 operating system. CentOS 7 is Linux type so I will choose Linux. If you want to install Windows 7 or other operating system on it you can select your operating system type here. Then next option is version. I am gonna install CentOS 7 operating system and that is 64 bit so my operating system version will be Linux 3.x 64 bit. Click on next. Here you need to allocate some memory to your machine. By default it will take 1 GB memory. If you want you can increase the size. I will change it as per my requirement. Click on next. Now create a hard disk. By default or recommended size for a hard disk is 8 GB. Create a virtual disk now. You need to choose a file type. You can leave it the default one VDI. In this next screen you can see two options. One is dynamically allocated disk size and another is fixed size. If you click on fixed size your disk size will be 8 GB only. I will select dynamically allocated size. Click on next. Just verify the setup is ok and finally click on create. Now your machine basic setup is done. Now click on settings. Go to storage. So I will click on disk file. I have already downloaded my ISO image in download folder. So I will browse to that path and click on the ISO image and click on open. Finally click on OK. Now your Linux machine configuration is done. You need to start the machine to go ahead with the installation. Let's start.
in this first screen you can see install center 7 and test this media and install center 7 I don't want to test the media I just go ahead with the installation hit enter Here you need to select your language. I'll keep it as English and English India. Click on continue. Here we need to do some additional setup. Date and time. I'm based in India so I'll leave it as default. Asia Kolkata. Today is 17 July. Done. language support English English India installation source is local media that is my ISO image okay installation destination so here you need to select your virtual hard disk drive which is 8 GB disk right now I'll select this drive done network and host name so network is right now it is disconnected you can select in on that is connected by default it will take DSCP IP address my machine host name is Linux 01 click on apply one more setup we need to do here software selection this environment will be server with GUI and rest keep it as default click on done Alright, I am done with the installation set setup. Now click on begin installation. Installation has started. Meanwhile, we can set up a root password and create a user. This installation might take 20 to 30 minutes, so be patient. Alright guys, our CentOS installation is successfully completed. Now we need to go ahead and debut this machine. Before you log into that machine, you need to accept the license agreement. Click here. Check this I accept the license agreement box and click on done. Finally, click on finish configuration. Here you go. You can see that 
our installation is successfully completed and now, now I can see that login prompt. Let's log into this machine. And finally I am able to log into this machine. So that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching.